Hey, for those who are beginning their online journey, here are some crucial tips to getting the foundation down right. Because if you don't get the foundation done right, it can be a lot of uprooting in the long run. Tip number one, pick the right domain name. Changing it now or breaking your head over it now is a lot easier than worrying about it later. Once you already have a website, you've done all your branding. It can take you a few seconds to pick a name. If you're lucky, it can be simple. If not, if a lot of the common names are taken, there are some really good resources online to help you filter out and find the best option for you. Take your time. Take a week if you need, but get it right. Next would be your emails. You certainly don't want to use your web host for emails. It is complicated. You're going to have all sorts of issues. Pay a few dollars a month. Use G Suite, which is Google, or Outlook 365, which is from Microsoft, and get yourself a great service for emails and everything will be a smooth sale when it comes to your emails next 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 your website so as you build you, you really don't know where you're going what you don't want to do is be too nearsighted or too long-sighted and i think the perfect middle ground would be using a system like wordpress we used to develop wordpress systems purely custom we used to make like our own theme internally uh, in-house now that technologies like Elementor have truly evolved, I highly recommend you get a WordPress system and you use a theme builder like Elementor. And there are pre-existing themes, you can even customize an Elementor theme. Uh, lots of flexibility, very simple to deploy, and it has a scalability factor. And I feel like that's the perfect middle ground. Those are three core steps to starting your online presence.